Hello and welcome to Stellaris 2.6 patch, Federation's expansion. We are playing as the Leonan Coalition, a race of cats who are about to face a calamitous catastrophe. Our world, our home world, the world in which we were raised, born, evolved is about to explode. It is the Doomsday Origin and we are in need of a new home. Luckily we have found one. It is 25 Desert. So we're going to start making our way there. Um, in the meantime, I think we're pretty good. I'm debating whether we want to start like an expansion up here to start claiming a bit more area. But we might need our influence to do something like a martial law or something. I think for now, we do need the amenities. We'll start production of a... Hollow Theatre to up those amenities. And we'll keep going. Right. And pause. Meanwhile, we're also going to figure out what the Zavin Labs complete. has. There's apparently a special weapon there that we need to find out about. Um, and you're going to have a look at that. Please, go tell me about this secret weapon that was hidden. Um, and you can come over here and do a construction. Oh, and when you're done with that, feel free to come up here and... Wrong one. There we go. Survey. 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 And... Survey. I think we'll start surveying down here when you're done. Right. Done. Uh, I'm not going to go survey this little arm that goes nowhere because we can do that later. Whereas if there is another found. empire up here, that is a hellishly difficult research project. Ancient precursor civilization. We're going to leave that be. Complete. If there is an enemy empire up here, we kind of want to claim our territory. We can always go back down here. Right, done a mining installation. Yeah, a level 10 anomaly. Special you hardly ever see those. Damn. Invisible death. Interesting weapon. Our scientists have returned from the Zavan Labs unscathed with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapon strong box. But to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebels can be seen writhing on the floor in intense agony, dark patches swelling across their bodies. Then their skin rips and a grey, unidentifiable matter spills out. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around them until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Sprinklers douse the room in liquid and electrical surge passes through it, executing all living things. Here the footage ends. Our crew can confirm that the strong box was indeed empty. Spooky. Uh, nanomachines! It's nanomachines, son. We get 30% progress on that. Great! Doesn't really help us right now, but great. Um, do we want to consist continue expanding? I think we'll hold back for now. Especially if we get a bit more like knowledge of the systems nearby. Science division reports. Oh, that success. does go somewhere. Ah, I thought that was a dead end. Uh, minus twenty percent. That's nice. New research. Ooh. So nebula refining is interesting. Mining station output 10%, and we are going to go pretty heavily spaceborne. Like, obviously, we're trying to find our way to new Leo in the new Persia system and colonize, but it's not only really a great planet starting off, so maybe extra engineering is pretty good. Uh, hangar bear, I don't care about. Exoskeletons is actually pretty tempting because it makes sense with our whole, like, we were miners, etc. We did a thing, we broke our planet. What's this based on? Stations is 24, jobs is 25.82. Okay, they're both pretty equal. Now 5% won't make a huge difference right now. It does lead us down the robotic path. Maybe we need that. Maybe that's what we do when we like leave our homeworld and like all the death and destruction. Maybe we expand by robots. I kind of like that narrative. Let's go for that. World Shaper trait. Really? The world shaper trait. That's a bit too on the nose. 
Yeah, we've definitely shaped our world, mate. Anomaly found. Very hard. Ancient pre... How many precursor relics are there? Okay, we're going to leave you for now. There's precursor relics all over the place. You can't stop them. They're just littering. Yeah, this is not a great world. Plus two mining districts. Eh. All right, keep going. Oh, our colony ship is built, and we're heading there. System reconnaissance completed. And you're heading up here. We could maybe do with increasing our fleet at some point. Uh, do we want to do that? Yeah, let's do that, actually. Wrong one. Fleet manager. Hello. Reinforce all. Go up to five. Science division report success. Farming plus twenty percent. Thank you very much. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I really like Unity Buff, right? But I think we need population growth speed. I think this is something that we desperately need. Like, we'll be learning how to adapt. We'll be learning how to better, like, mold our population to fit the planets we have to go to. We're also going to need to rebuild and repopulate, which means genome mapping. We need to understand ourselves. That's how true victory can be achieved. Oh, and it's an alpine. I was like, oh, look, a world. It's alpine. 24. It's going to be, like, 20% habitability. Completed. The first Leonis colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down by the outskirts of a large oasis on New Leo. Or as the chat, the comment section apparently ought to call it, Neo Leo. Situated at the foot of a large mountain, this ideal location provides shelter from the wind and has easy access to water. The ship has been permanently converted into the Ministry of Headquarters, and we're using the reactor and stuff like that. This tent city, cool. It's a great day. You will be ready in like four years' time. In the meantime, we are not doing great on consumer goods. Oh. I guess we want to build more consumer goods here? It seems weird. Like, I'm building stuff on a planet that's going to explode. But we need to? Okay. Carry on. Tradition. Population growth speed 10%. Start base upkeep cost reduction. That would save us like two energy. Empire sprawl. Pretty tempting. But right now, the population buff is, you know, what we're driving for. It makes sense narratively as well. Like, our planet is going to explode. We need to repopulate the Science stars. Division report success. Quantum theory. Uh, research station output. I mean, how much research are we get from stations? Oh, it doesn't say. Please, give me a nice breakdown. Like, we've got breakdowns over here for all this. Why is science treated so poorly? I'm going to say that. We still don't know that there are other empires in space that might be a threat. So, we won't need to upgrade our ship tech as desperately. Makes sense to me. That world's also pretty trash. Alright, you're doing your thing. We're almost up to 10 years in. I wonder if there's going to be a new event on Persia at that point. It's 15% habitability. Bleak. Minus 5 habitability. Ugh. It's pretty good for mining districts, though. It's a real shame. Uh, go do that project. It's going to take like 120 days. Recon pass completed. If we can up our habitability, this would be a good world. Oh, there we go. It wasn't even 10 years. 
Earthquakes are now almost daily occurrence on most of Leo, and at least a dozen new supervolcanoes have appeared within the last few years. Massive ash storms blanket the skies, making air travel hazardous or even impossible in some regions. Temperatures have dropped by several degrees. Despite all of this, a surreal sense of normalcy prevails on the dying planet's surface. Rubble from collapsed buildings is slowly removed, swirling ashes swept off the busy streets, and the lava flows are, where possible, diverted The people endure. We get 15 devastation, habitability minus 50%. Alloy, mineral, and energy credit jobs get plus 60, and the normal, you know, stability hits, etc. Blah, blah, blah. You expect from a world that's exploding. Are we overcrowded? With not enough amenities? What? Crazy talk. Okay, let's build a new housing district. I'm glad we did the immunity building, because even with that, we're at minus one. Ugh. Those are negatives. I do not like this. Right, that's not negative now. The food is... Labor's... Love's labor's lost. Okay, having decrypted the signal, we've astonished to discover it's broadcast from an archaic form of one of the main Leonis languages. Speaking in these thous and wentsfors, it appears to be reciting one of the long-lost works of Proclius Silius, a renowned playwright who lived 600 years ago. It seems that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish protected by a small shelter, is the only non-natural surface on the planet. There's no hint as to who left it there or why, but going by the wear and tear on the evidence, it must have been there since shortly after the play was written. Long before Leonisi learned the secret of space travel. We can assume it was left there by ancient visitors to Leo who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute. Hmm. We could for five years have Happiness 10 and Xenophile Ethics Attraction, but Happiness 10? That's pretty good. I mean, the unity is also great, but I, I think a gift, we must find a way to thank our mysterious benefactors. We'll take that. We need the happiness. This is like, you know, I imagine the government spinning this as a way to make people happy, to realize that there are people out there who appreciate the Leonassi and, you know, we must go to space and we'll meet these people, etc. And there are other opportunities lying out there. Don't worry about the things at home. Like, this is how we spin it to make people happy. Meanwhile, they're trading that model. More precursor civilizations? That's like three artifacts already. It's a bit nuts. Oh, we've got a new campaign for Governor. Uh, you're currently in the lead and you're currently ruling. World Shaper, Investor, Reformer. Oh, that's pretty good. Aggressive Agriculture. Construct at least two additional agricultural districts. And we get Unity. I mean, tempting. Happiness 5%. Unity. Not bad. Construct at least four new orbital mining stations. Reward doesn't say. The reward doesn't say on that either. I think the reward is always the same, though. It's six months worth of unity. Fortifier, don't care. I kind of want you in. But I'm happy to run with you for now. I don't want to waste, you know, 50 influence, so... Right. New Leo is about halfway. Recon pass completed. Gunther system. Okay, election promise unfulfilled. Ola Archivius. Right. What do you want in your situation log? Mine, Amanda. Oh, no, you did win. Okay. Build, like, 
four more mining stations. Sure, we can do that. I think we'll want to get this because it's an archaeological site. Uh, let's just check. Leo, do you need... Everyone's really happy. You don't mean to need me to do, like, martial law or anything. We can just expand. We could expand this way, but I kind of think we want to expand this way to be able to grab these nodes. So... Every time I look at this name, I know it's Tampiri, but I see Tampa, and then I think Tampa Bay, Florida. I don't know why. There we go. We've got a terrible taste in bays, apparently. Alright, go grab the systems, then build mining stations in them. Everyone's happy. Down here, we are looking at Area completed. I want to call that Arya. Anomaly found. Unusual energy readings emanating from the moon. Uh, 100 days. Sure. Routine. <laughs> right. Do your expansion. Taking evasive action. Okay. Things are happening right now. Firstly, let's check over here. Everyone's quite happy. That's lovely. That's nice. These are things I like to hear. We're still in the deficit on food. That sucks. But other than that... Um... We'll build a new agricultural district. However, we've just found aliens and their crystal shards. Interesting. Any amount of space fairers. We encountered fellow wanderers among the stars, despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile to the atmosphere. On Leo, following the re report, the contact fleet can best describe it as rapturous. Okay. Construction complete. Leave. Well, that's interesting. We'll have a quick jaunt down here. And we'll leave that the hell alone. In fact, I'm going to just block that system for now. There's no point in going through it. We will die. Glancing hit. Ooh. A glancing hit from a mass driver round. Construction complete. Routine. Asteroids composition points towards potentially interesting finds. Sure. Research it. Hello. We've got our factions. So we've got Xeno Compassion Lobby. Institute of Scientific Ascendancy, and the Battle Brethren. So, you know, our three different... Uh, what are they called? Political orientation, cultural what's nots, and all that. Factions, hello. What's the issue here? New contact. Oh, we just need new contact. Okay. Uh, we are getting... More influence, which doesn't appear yet. No issues. Okay. Much better. That's a lot, lot better for influence. Makes me happy. Alright, let's expand over here. Oh, can't expand there. Right. Mining station. Research station. Mining station. Research station. And hopefully we can get our mandate. Alright, you leveled up. Good for you. Fragments of life! Deep in the center of the asteroid, find trace of extremely valuable alloys. This issue hints bacterial life that has now died in the vacuum of space. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Interesting. Okay. And it's a three alloy, which is pretty good. Uh, 
And let's grab Empire Sprawl Decrease, because you can see that we're actually getting up there on the Sprawl. Hello. We found Zro. Okay. Yeah, brings it down to 42, a lot better. Uh, another strategic resource? Exotic gases, okay. We're learning a lot about exotic stuff right now. Not that we can use it, we know it's there. Construction complete. That's not a bad system. Four energy, three science, three alloy, three trade. Pretty, pretty solid. Recon pass completed. Okay. We have claimed a new world. Oh, there we go. Neolio is now ours. As the first constant arrived on the surface of New Leo, many are overcome with a sense of euphoria. Worlds other than Leo are capable of being supported. Blah, 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 blah. Those fears can now be put to rest. New Leo is a planet where Leo C can thrive. These fortunate groups of initial colonists are a start, but countless Leo C are still trapped on our doomed homeworld. Safe haven plus 30% happiness. Very nice indeed. Please, everyone, migrate here. I wish I had the thousand food for population growth speed. Hell, we could even go distribute luxury goods. Increase the immigration pull. Increase the amenities. Tempting. I think we'll hold off for now. Um, we need three jobs. Oh, we also have the pre-sapiens. I completely forgot we had pre-sapiens on this world. Right. What do we need? We need food. Pretty desperately. It's a shame this is an energy world, but we're going to need to set up an agricultural district. And then a couple of city districts, because we're probably going to have a lot of people moving here soon. The Free Citizen Center. Oh, they're really happy. Okay. Antiochratic, free movement, reproductive freedom, anti-stratification. Yeah, they're going to pretty much enjoy what we're about. Completed. And, ooh, we found the Bannon Gateway. Um, that's not where it is. Right, where is this gateway? Oh, it's over here. Okay. With a 12 Savannah world. Oh, it's only a 12, but it is Savannah world. Let's find out more. Do you want to know more? Would you like to know more? Still worrying about food a bit, but we can always buy on the internal market if we need to. People did wonder why I didn't do that with initial colony ship, and that's because we pay a little bit extra to use the market, and we were going to get the colony ship anyway. Could have done it, but I wasn't too worried. Right, meanwhile, I think it's ticking up pretty well. Complete. Right, now you've done that. Build mining stations. Build mining research stations. Poor quality minerals. Ugh. And it's kind of a food planet. If we, like, fully unlock it, it would be seven food tiles, which actually isn't terrible. Minor mandate fulfilled. Puts us 24 months rather than 30 months away from our next target. All right, food. We're going to have to buy some on the internal market. Um, we'll buy a thousand. We have the energy for it. A 
Cardaroth. I read that as Cardiff. Research and also research the anomaly. There are two anomalies that popped up in short order there. Construction complete. Yeah, I guess you'd be okay as an energy world. I kind of think maybe we need to start a second colony going. And this is very close by. Actually, before we do that, since people have been demanding it, this is going to be, since it's CO, it will be Neo. New Leo. We have New Leo, and then we have CO. Makes sense. Um, wait, there's precursor stuff in our own home system? What? Okay. Head over there. Do the thing. Get us a new world. Recon pass completed. All right, construction vessel here is actually done. Um, do you want to expand somewhere? We could expand into this backwater here that we've kind of left open. This is a terrible world. There's nothing to offer us. Uh, we could expand here. We could start pushing up this chain here. I think we should grab this. It's got enough to offer. FTL impact. A ship collided with it. Remarkable. Hello? Alien? The, the aliens aren't there. A 24 Alpine world. Again, interesting, but not going to be great for us. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Right. That order to go up here? I'm going to cancel that. We're going to move this way. We found ourselves some friends. Swelling shadow modifier. Uh, let's do... We should probably do that. Won't take that long. No way to contact them? Oh, there we go. Investigate. Do do do. Let's find out who our new friends are. How are we doing over here? Recon pass completed. There's good migration currently going on. That is pretty good. Keep them coming. We desperately need them. All right, now we've fully surveyed this. Kind of think it's time to bring you back and survey this arm here. Find if there's anything interesting. Rare crystals. Oh. Well, good for that empire. Science division report success. Right, well, we've got success with powered exoskeletons. Ooh, robot workers? Yeah, I kind of want to do robot workers. 
I know we probably should do coil gun or something, but robot workers make so much sense. Like we're having to leave to go to space. We desperately need to shore up our industry, our economy. This Alpine world is actually pretty boring for 24. It's like seven mining. That's not great. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. Trade area. Right. Go grab the system, please. I want to make sure we get this. Oh, hello. Just come wander through our systems, get all the information on our defenses. They're terrible. System reconnaissance completed. They sent a ship in here. Was it just another science vessel or was it something like worse? Were they actually trying to put down a base here? I want this planet. It's got loads of food. Construction complete. Claim it. Construction complete. No, it's actually just two science vessels. You're not a science vessel. I don't know what you are. And let's finish off the expansion tree, which will give us the ability to build one additional district. And one, uh... Bloop. Ascension perk. I actually know what to pick. I, I'm always a little bit like that on these. But, Interstellar Dominion is good. Influence cost decrease, claim influence cost decrease. That's nice. Technological ascendancy. Also pretty solid. Don't think it's the one for us, but solid. One vision, unity, immunity usage, government ethics attraction. I don't think we are one vision, but I guess maybe the true unity is achieved only when the ultimate goal of the nation and its people are one and the same. After all, a house divided cannot stand. Our goal is to escape. Mastery of nature. Maybe that's it. It could be master of nature because, you know, mastering the blowing up of our planet. Impel prerogative gives us 20% admin capacity. Eh. Edict duration. Eh. Transcendental learning. I think, honestly, this is the most underrated one. Lead level cap is great. And experience gain 50% is fantastic. Shared destiny. It's all about having subjects. I don't think we're into that. What else do we want to go with? Um... We probably want to get maybe like engineered evolution or evolution mastery or something. Or maybe flesh is weak, synthetic evolution. And world shape would be amusing. Maybe grasp the void. Probably something more like voidborn. Like we had to leave our planet so going voidborn makes sense. Master builder. Galactic wonders. Maybe Arcology? Xeno compatibility. This is a new one. The innovation of universal sexual biology has revolutionized society, even if it sometimes requires awkward rotations to make a connection. Immigration pull, because you can bonk it. We get 33% immigration pull. And that's crossbreeding between different species living on the same planet, granting a 20% bonus to population growth speed on an own planet, at least two different species. Additionally, crossbreeding will result in the creation of half species that take the portrait of one of the parent species, but get a max of traits. Plus one maximum trait point and plus one maximum traits. I kind of attempt to go that way. <laughs> but it doesn't matter about our first pick. Because it's not related. Um, it's so tempting to go this way, but I don't actually want to lock our population into like a government ethics attraction. I want them to have kind of a three flow on that one. I'm thinking transcendental learning. 
because it makes sense with the whole we had to do this one like big research push. We found our planet was dying and we had to push for space flight. We had to do all this. Our society must change its focus towards learning and by doing so, our best and brightest will be able to reach completely new level of achievement. It makes sense that we had to change our approach towards learning because we had to change our approach towards the economy, society and everything to push out of our planet. And I still think it's a great one, so. Recon pass completed. Okay. We have learned about the civilization. Um, I kind of want to just keep going and learning more about them. Until we properly learn about them by contacting them. For now, we're just kind of stepping into their front door and being like, Hello, you've found. got a nice hallway here. More precursors! Dear God. That's a level 10. There. Ooh, a Gaia world? Hello. All right. We've met the curator order. Creating star travelers. We are the curators. An ancient order was established aliens ago by various clan powers. Well met. Uh, contacts. Oh, I need to reinstall the mod that allows me to like contact them by just going to like the sidebar. Curator order. Communicate. Hello. Can you aid us in our research? Paying a thousand energy for 10% research is good, but not right now. It's good in the late game or mid game, not in the early game. We need that energy. We can trade it for other things like goods and services. Oh, hello. This might actually be their capital. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Actually, oh, nope, there we do. A desert world. Oh, they like desert worlds as well. And we're over Rodman Cap. Well, our homeworld is going to blow up, so that'll solve that problem. Construction complete. Irregularities in the star's energy. Cool. That happens. And we'll keep expanding. Abandoned terraform equipment. Resume the process or dismantle. Since our initial settlement on New Leo, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. The eco ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to the project models for a world of this type. We suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the plant's biosphere in its current unfinished state. We could turn this back on. The thing is, it's a desert world right now, and I kind of like a desert world. Oh, a band terraforming project gives us minus food and happiness? Because, oh, unstable climate? Okay, right. We've got a choice. Resume the process or dismantle the equipment. That's a tough one. I kind of need this world, but at the same time, I really want to poke the button. Also, I'm really looking forward to finding out this, this Gaia world. Like, this is actually turning out to be quite an interesting area, and probably the next area we try and sprint to colonize. Uh, oh, you know what? You've got no orders. Start doing it. A guy world is a pretty good find. That said, we're still having our homeworld explode soon. Which is not great. That's going to cause problems. Because, you know, the exploding part. We've still got available jobs, which means that we can do uh, another project here. As much as I kind of want to do agricultural, we really should start pivoting you towards energy at some point. We'll do agricultural for now because we need it. And with that said, we're going to call today's episode here. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe, comment down below. New Persia is falling apart slowly. We're 15 years in. It's got somewhere between 20 and 30 years left. Not that far. Especially as it's going to start deteriorating even more and people are going to be incredibly unhappy. I should probably start keeping some influence back to be used as um, martial law influence. Hmm. And we have found a new empire. We don't know what they're going to be like. They could well want to murder us, in which case we'll have to focus on our military at a time when we can't really do that. 
that's not going to be helpful. We're we're in some trouble. I've been a Trillisium. Stay shiny. <laughs>